Hey, yo, what's up? So the reality is whenever you empathize with your oppressor, they just use that empathy to oppress you further. So there can be no... mercy when it comes to me accurately depicting how this business attacked me there's no going away none of that either they're going to come to grips with what they did which this is the disgusting part is it's not a simple, reasonable conversation when dealing with these people. It's not something where you can go and be like, hey, let me logically explain how you destroyed my life and fucked me over, you know. They physically need to feel pressed by the legal system or by the public, you know, in order to have that discussion and make it right we don't live in a world where an entity can harm you and you can go chop it up reasonable and be like hey you know i need reparations for this i need compensation it's always a fight it's always a battle but they put rules on it to how you can conduct that and the rules are in the favor of the business. They don't take into account the psychological damage in the head of the victim and how this person has to navigate through a difficult world of lawyers and fucking getting money to survive, you know, staying out of trouble, all of that. The business is designed to sit there in the long game in a war of attrition while the individual is suffering and scrambling. So what I'm saying is it passed the point to where I, uh, in a settlement or a courtroom, it passed the point where I can take something small. I literally need millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars because every single day my life is at risk, my mental health is at risk, and I would dare say with them maintaining that toxic work environment, other people are at risk too of danger. And it all comes down to the negligence of that business. They cannot say they were not alerted to this. They cannot say that, okay? I got records. I got records. Um, I don't know who's listening to this, you know, but... This is at the point where every single day I have to contemplate a dark storm of energy inside my head. And right now, listen, 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 listen. Right now, this is me at, at my best. You know, I just ate at the pizza place. Uh, I'm processing low amounts of dark energy right now. And I think you can see the difference in my communication. I think any reasonable person who observed this can see how I'm communicating now versus how I'm communicating a lot of the time. When I'm not full of toxic, okay, it flows like this, you know. I'm about to go see Resident Evil. I've been looking forward to that, you know. Just look at everything, analyze everything. Not all is as it seems, okay? I have been set up and framed by the cops before in court. This is a fact, okay? There's only so much that a man can take, and I'm communicating as a man. I'm not communicating as anything other. Please look at the context of my words and fathom it people aren't used to seeing someone communicate as a conscious entity with agency in this universe a man okay they're used to seeing people scared and cowed 
by what this corrupt system can do to them. But my life is already on edge. It's already, you know, at or close to zero on any given day. When you box an animal into a corner, okay, you never know how it will react. All right, my brain works different than other people's. The way I perceive danger is way out there. Okay, it's like I can see it coming from light years away. Okay, the minute General Motors did that to me, you set me down a, a an extremely perilous path. All right. Either, either. My bad, I got to pay attention to the cars driving around. That's another thing. It's just, as an African-American man, shit is, shit is not safe out here for us. And if you think it is, boy, um, just look at what happens. Just look at what's happening all around the nation to us, bro. The firearm homicide is a normal way of death. I, look, I got to get off here. I got to watch what's going on over here. I might have to pop out and, uh, be on that.